And now a headline we think we've heard before. A daredevil breaches what was expected to be one of the most secure buildings in the country, the New World Trade Center. Last week, an intruder was 16 years old, a 16-year-old boy. But today, news about an impossible stunt from six months ago. And who were they? ABC's Gio Benitez now with new video raising a host of new questions. In this dramatic video, we see the moment three men jumped from the top of One World Trade Center, the tallest building in the nation. Watch. Taking a plunge at 3 a.m. from 1,776 feet in the air. Opening that parachute and gliding over lower Manhattan in September. Watch as one jumper lands and drags that parachute into the darkness. Was there ever a moment that you thought, this might be disrespectful here? That was not our intention. We actually never planned to show the footage or have it come out into the public. The security breach stunned even them. We can't believe we just got into the most heavily secured building. So how did you get in? We just slid in between two fences and walked to the stairwell. 15 minutes later, we were on the 105th floor. That was six months ago. But just last week, it happened again. A 16-year-old squeezed through a fence and made his way up. It's obviously not an acceptable state of affairs, but we think it's one that together we can resolve. As for these guys, police got a hold of the videos, and on Monday, the trio and a lookout turned themselves in and pleaded not guilty. Now we've learned at the time, this base jumper was an iron worker at the tower and knew exactly how to get in. Among their charges, burglary and reckless endangerment they could face up to seven years in prison. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.